Hello, what is going on everybody? It is me, Fresh Malik, here to teach you finally how to make the Hex Cougar lead, sort of. Um, Hex Cougar is one of those very creative artists where you can't really put him into one sound. Like, you, like he has like a general sound, but like this lead fits the general umbrella term of Hex Cougar type lead. It won't sound exactly like it, but this is pretty much how you can get the sound more or less. Here's what it sounds like. Now I know Hex Cougar has like more cleaner mixes, but I just thought it sounded cool if it was like all distorted and everything. So I'm gonna solo the lead by itself. This is what it sounds like. So as you can see, there's different lead sections. So the main lead is, it sounds like this, dry, no effects. So basically what we're doing, we have a bunch of detuned saws and we're just processing it and then we render it and process it more. So I'll show you what each of the sounds sound like by themselves. We have a serum here. And this is what it looks like, just a detuned square and um, saw with sync. And then again, this is what it sounds like all together. And what we do is we add a little alter boy. And we just change up the formants. You can put it all the way to minus 12 or just change it and mix it in dry wet with some drive. So it really changes up the sound. It adds a little artifacts and it adds like character to it. And we put another little altar boy again with the dry wet mixed in. This time it's going up and pitching the formants up. And after that, we put a reverb here. Um, very short decay, very much wet, and you can leave the dry in. Now we can see like it's getting bigger because of the reverb. And put an OTT, of course, why not? And put a distortion. And we put an EQ, just cut off the lows a little. And we're gonna boost like the fundamental frequencies, probably around, uh, like, yeah, wherever. Just giving it a little more power in the mids. And put a camel crusher on there, because why not? I never used it because I was too scared to download it. Like, the website you get it on is kind of shady. But then I was like, eh, I already have like a ton of viruses on my computer, so might as well get it, right? And then after that, we got another reverb. Uh, just mix in a lot of wet with the dry. This time, you have a little more decay, like one second. I'm just gonna activate this for the balance. This is what gives it like that kind of rhythmic feel. Because right now it's like really messy because of the reverb. So what we got here, we got a free balance. Basically, it's just the volume automation. And the automation clip is right here. Oh yeah, also I moved the whole thing a bit over to the left. So it plays a little before the beat. Because the reverb makes the transients like pushes it back a little. So we push it forward so it's like nothing happened. So I'm just gonna play it so you can hear it if you don't know what it sounds like. So Hex Cougar likes to 
automate the leads a lot to give it a rhythm and character, I guess. Yeah, so either he used LFO tool or volume automation. Same concept, uh, essentially. So let's get into the other effects um, right here. I boosted the mids because in the club and a lot of places, um, they play on mono speakers. So you want to have a strong mids um, signal. And I'll play without and then I'll, I'll activate and you'll hear the difference if you're using headphones or something. Yeah, so when the mix goes back into mono, um, you'll hear it better. I don't know. Some kind of science. After that, we put another Camel Crusher. Because why not? After that, we do some deharshing with Pro Keep 3. Just like up in this area, like the high end, we just um, dynamic EQ that. After that, um, another EQ just to cut off the lows and this um, some stuff and of course a Soothe 2. And I wanted to keep the power in the fundamental frequencies so I decreased this because if it did then it would reduce like the power. So I know you heard it already but this is what the main lead sounds like. So after that. Um, I just selected the MIDI and press Control alt c and yeah, you just consolidate it and this is what I got next and then I pitched it up an octave and I added a reverb, uh, no dry, so it's just wet, have a little decay on it and you don't you don't do you even really need that i guess you could it makes a difference and you i redid the volume automation because the reverb kind of made it not there again so i added it back all right very good very good and after that um i just added another one like I just resampled it again and pitched it up um, five semitones. Wait, no, seven. I mean, I pitched it to the fifth. Yeah. So this is what it sounds like. I just routed it to the same channel. So there we go. That's our counter melody. No effort had to be put in. And we just have this... Un this one extra layer right here um, the second layer I put in this one I just put it into Edison I just put it into Edison and press control B that will blur it which is basically a reverb a really long reverb and that's this is what that sounds like Of course, I had to re-put the volume automation again because the blur took away the... Okay, you get it. So yeah, that's actually a really important layer. All of them are important, but without it, it just doesn't sound as full as it could be. Yeah, it's really small, but it really gives life. That's like, I'll just recap one more time. You just get a, a detuned saws, um, maybe like one to five, one to four of them. Just little alter boy them, reverb, distortion, reverb, distortion, and EQing. Um, make sure this mid, mid side EQ like distortion again, reverb, and the volume automation. 
You can even put like a triplets. You can get creative with that. And then after that, you just resample it, put reverb on it, pitch it up. Yeah, it's uh, resampling is very helpful when sound designing and doing leads. And finally, just make sure it sounds good in context. Anyways, that's me, French Milk. Please consider liking and subscribing. And yeah, I hope you, this helped. If it did, um, tell your parents you love them. <laughs>